What's up guys? We are covering another Don Artie game versus Lash in this Wololo series. It's Lippany and it's a matchup that uh, some people have uh, opinions on either way about but Don Artie's over here on the northwestern side as the Abbasid and we have Lash in the southeast side as the English doing that solid typical 2-2-2 two, two, two build early on going on uh, going on the wood going on the gold going onto the food and goes for the early wheelbarrow Don all onto the sheep will probably go over to the gold now 704 is the typical build for the Abbasid the big thing is is are we gonna see some second TC action are we gonna see third TC action one TC it can really go all over the place with these Abbasid build orders but with the 222 build this really allows Abbasid to get a very very clean second TC because there will be a delayed feudal coming out of lash there will be no longbows coming in at the 430 mark and being all scary in the base of Abbasid won't have to worry about that at all yeah, and a lot of people, the big variance is if you open sheep or berries. If you open berries, you will have to chop a straggler tree for a bit. Some people prefer the berry opening. Some people prefer the sheep. It's really all about the matchup. It's just really all about personal preference. As far as overall end goal, it's really basically all of, all the same. Sometimes the berries can be a little bit more efficient based off of where the location is for the straggler tree. And uh, as far as sheep, it can end up obviously being safer under your town center early on. On, or you can go to berries you know later and have that berry bonus as the Abyssin. House of Wisdom being dropped as I mentioned 704 once the House of Wisdom villager joins and we'll go over to build a lumber camp now. <clears throat> No farms out yet from Lash because he got that wheelbarrow and should start trickling them in now. I say every single time he gets 37 wood, but he already has it, but would expect him to start getting those farms sooner than later. <clears throat> I'm an Abbasid lover personally, so really like the civilization. Think they... Uh, I think they always like are, are one of those that if you know the build and if you know the matchups right, you can really utilize them uh, into your advantage, right? Economic wing comes up. Right now, you would typically see, there we go, a couple vills pulled off of the food, pulled over to the wood line, still got five on top of it. We'll create a little bit of a food surplus in case he needs to transition into uh, anything extra or utilize maybe some food vills and pull them elsewhere. Sheep getting brought back in we hear some uh, some of that bell dinging in love to hear that sound a couple of the farms have been built by lash and as we mentioned delayed feudal age coming out of lash but we'll have a strong farming eco behind this being the english <clears throat> moving from sheep over to the berries not only that don arty with the next drop off of not only the wood, which just happened, but also two gold villagers, which just is about to happen. We'll be able to start wheelbarrow immediately on point with that timing there, Don. Love to see it. Starts that wheelbarrow immediately with the drop off. The four villagers on gold will also allow Don to have enough for fresh food stuff immediately as he ages up. And can even pull those four off early at 125 gold, right when this mine hits 3625 and pull them over to the stone mine and build a stone mine eight villagers onto the wood some sometimes you see seven sometimes you see eight sometimes you see nine you might even see more a lot of times but you will see the move over to the stone most likely abbasid want that second tc don wants to get a little bit of vision first wants to scout it out before making any big detrimental decisions that are game changing he sees Feudal H just now being dropped. It's just now being dropped nice and slow. Three bills on top. Mm, 420 age up time in great number. And moves those bills off of gold onto the food. Has not gone for stone. So a very different build order than I was expecting. Are we about to see a little bit of 1TC Abbasid pressure? 
I'm not really sure. Whatever it is, Lash scouts it out, and I don't know what his reaction would be either. Haven't seen this much, but fresh food stuffs and wheelbarrow are coming out, and the stables is being dropped. It's going to be one TC Abba pressure against English. Sometimes you can uh, transition this into Horseman Camel Archer, and with the delayed Feudal Age, Lash will be quite behind as far as military goes. A couple Horsemen, a couple Camel Archers can be absolutely devastating. Don's got enough for another military building. I wonder if he opts to drop one. There it is, Archer Ranch. It's going to be the Horseman Camel Archer meta. This was one of the old builds. I know Blade has a video on YouTube about it. I know I uh, I utilized it in one of my games as well. And oh, appreciate you, JD. Thank you, thank you. Um, and uh, I've utilized it in multiple games before against the English, where you expect to, uh, you know, those longbow spearmen comp. And so what you do. If you start building horsemen, you be aggressive with your horsemen, it's going to force English onto the barracks. It's going to force English onto the spears, and you have camel archers, the perfect counter to those spears. <clears throat> you're able to support the high food unit composition army because you're Abbasid. All of your vills are half price. It's 25 food per vill that you're saving. It's three vills per minute. So that's 75 per food per minute you're saving. You're able to transition that. And no camel archers. We actually see archers still another counter to the spear. A little less food intensive. So he's going to be able to utilize more of that food onto the horseman. That was the double berries play. That was the reasoning for it. Knew he was going to have to expand and the second berries was nice and close and already had the wood to do so horseman number starting to build up but at the same time lash starting to build up his spears starting to build up his archers as well longbows actually i should call them and uh see if he will have enough military mass to deal with this the big problem that happens with the horseman archers versus spear longbows is the horsemen have the mobility they can choose the fights to take the spearmen have to be ready and brace and then have an easier time being picked off by the opposite side the horsemen are able um, are much much tankier much much faster able to do a lot more with their mobility as i keep mentioning Nothing else too crazy coming out. Don has opted not only for the archers, there's the camel archers, so we'll get a little bit of an, a tankier unit into the mix as well, and a more mobile unit. So we'll be able to chase down some of those spearmen if they are trying to run away. Has the more mobile army, so this is, like, pros are able to take advantage of this so well. We saw Don do this a couple games ago with even his archers versus men-at-arms. He was able to run around the whole entire map kite these men at arms for so long, take down a ton of villagers before his archers that were those feudal age throwaway army died. So really, really good job. And we will see if he is able to kite around with these camel archers, with these horsemen in the same way. Proactive walls have built on both uh, the south and eastern side of Lash's base. So it feels a little bit secure there. Everything's going to have to come front and forward, but there's a pretty big opening on the right side still to get on through. Outpost going on the west by his gold. A little bit of protection there. And still not too big of an army. Five spears, nine longbows compared to seven horsemen, five archer, six archers, and one camel archer. <clears throat> no pressure coming down from either side yet. The delayed second TC drop from Don Artie. So I love this. He was ready he was prepared he forced lash to build up some more military himself and this has made lash be behind a lot sometimes you'll see with this build they'll go with like that quick second tc or something else but instead don forced military forced a reaction out of lash and has dropped a second tc the second tc will start him booming up he'll be able to produce out of both of these tcs for the same amount that lash will be producing from his solo one army starting to move up and again who has the more mobile army? It's Don Artie. So when this army moves up, Don Artie can come around, start picking off reinforcements, can start doing stuff at home, even try to go in from some raids, try to force this army to come back, thin out reinforcements, whatever it may be, and still continue to build up army. Also, we'll start climbing in the villager count lead as they're both producing, you know, it would be the same amount of food. English, however, has that nice extra farming eco coming in, so we'll have that extra food income. Has a nice wood income. Double broadaxe has been snagged. No horticulture yet. No double broadaxe though for Don Artie, nor does he have horticulture. It's 35 and 22 for Don. 
It's 34 and 20 for Lash. And as I was mentioned, the the units for Don were are higher food cost. So Don really has kind of the 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 better military power, I guess I would say. Um, and again, can utilize the mobility in his favor in a significant margin. The stealth force in the middle are actually a very, very big control point, especially for the English that have this network of castles bonus with outposts and would love to see either Lash or Don Artie get control and get vision in some of the sacred, uh, get vision in some of the stealth forest. <coughs> Villager moving out on the west for Don to build up some proactive walls, and I actually love this. There's some nice deer behind this, and can build up some walls in the front of this forest, and that will basically uh, kind of force everything to that front side where the second TC is, additional vision, all that sort. Scout for Lash about to get taken down. Remember, horsemen are faster than scouts, and the archers just fired down and got some nice initial damage on top of that. Immediately goes down. Ooh, outpost was going down near that stealth force, but has not yet. Would love to see this build just come right up, build an outpost in the stealth forest. It's amazing how much vision getting, like getting vision in the stealth forest helps you in the long run. 14 longbows and eight spearmen, and that is not enough for the army. Don already has a significant amount of more resources in the bank as well. This is just where Abbasid is just showing his stre its strength so well. You can't forget about that extra gathering rate from the Golden Age. Tier 1, which is actually about to get buffed up. Mm, Spearman number is looking kind of healthy. That longbow number when, with the network of castles activated it's actually going to be kind of hard for don to take these fights unless there it is the rams are coming into the mix don already's going to go up to castle age behind this as well so is forcing a ton of pressure down lash is going up to castle age so they're both going going to go up to castle age at the same time really don's is going to take a little longer he's not able to mass build his landmark but he is pressuring right as lash is going up to castle so really good timing with this has that kind of th each of them have that throwaway army but don's it looks to be much stronger it looks to be much more kind of cost uh higher cost which means kind of better overall or it should be and if he's able to micro this pretty well this could be a lot of positioning a lot of control that he's able to deny ram gets denied castle age finishes for lash don opts to pull back spearman starting to move forward horsemen decide to run back potentially take down <gasps> the camel immediately gets taken down how sad did you hear that sound cried for mercy and just longbow shatter the soul of the camel Don Artie's halfway up to Castle. The second TC that Lash just built is starting to work, so he will, uh, it'll be an even villager count, but the bigger, th or not even villager count, but even villager production. But the problem for Lash is that his is gonna cost twice as much. He has the better food economy to be able to do it with English farms, but it's 56 and 30 for Don, whereas it's 42 and 29. So Don has already built up quite a bit of a military, uh, or of an economic benefit, whereas he still hasn't had a villager deficit. Military deficit. Whatever. No double Brodex coming in yet, but a lot of times what the Abbasid will do is they'll wait to get a lot of their eco techs until after they get this preservation of knowledge tech, which should be the immediate upgrade that Don opts for first. It's very, very cheap. It's very, very quick. He does opt for it. He actually cancels his horseman tech because of this. It comes in in just 30 seconds. It's super cheap, and it reduces every tech by 30%. After that is when Don already should just spam all eco techs, blacksmith techs, upgrades on his horseman, every, all the sort, because it becomes so much better for him over time 
has opted for the deer on the west as I mentioned he would has moved out to the berries as well and Don is looking at a pretty good positioning with that villager count lead the military for lash has still stayed the same same number basically just upgrades have come through it's spearmen and archers and if knight is looking to come raid you, you can't forget that Abbasid have the best spearmen in the game and the knights try to raid the barracks which can produce spearmen they weren't producing spearmen they were producing men at arms which are still nice and tanky still able to do quite a bit of damage and the knight spotted out going getting chased down by not only a couple men at arms but also a lancer some horsemen the archers everything into the mix so should just be a couple units throw away and what did i mention about that stealth forest we needed to see some vision we needed to see some outposts inside of it and that is exactly what don already has opted for although his next outpost does get denied his initial one doesn't he doesn't have enough stone to get any upgrades on his initial one which is totally fine he is utilizing all of his resources in the most efficient way possible which is now upgrades military he needs to get this mass out on the field and wants to start pressuring before he gets pressured golden tier two it tier two activates this additionally gives him research speed so not only will those research techs be cheaper the speed will be much much faster night raid comes in on the berries only one villager has gone down so far and i believe that is the only one that will go down outpost in the stealth force gets taken down so no more vision for don but don is clearing up that night raid it's 70 and 55 Eco for Lash is much, much tighter. It's much, much safer. And Don hasn't been able to pressure any of it. But Don is getting more forward walls. Has gotten an outpost on the Northern Sacred Site. Another knight came in, attacking the barracks yet again. Just gets uh, a nice charge in from the Lancer. A couple more men-at-arms coming to help. And Lash isn't really looking to be trading his army that efficiently spots out some more of the berries with the knight trying to again charge trade out this knight for something before it gets taken out by the horseman mass don has a huge infantry mass men at arms archers as well as crossbows and we were talking about all the upgrades coming through blacksmith upgrades are coming through now hasn't gotten double broad axe yet but we did see horticulture come through ram moving nice and slow Relics are starting to be secured by Lash. I saw that one. Scout for Lash in a very, very good position on this hill, hilltops. Able to spot all of this out. So is able to kind of try to be proactive with these outposts. But will it be fast enough, especially with a ram already in the mix for Don Artie? And not only should he get a ram, he should just fall back and build a mangonel in the stealth forest. After he kills the scout first, of course. So scout goes down and then should start dropping mangonels. And once mangonels come into the mix, it will force Lash on to a siege workshop and then springles, which take quite a bit of time. You also need three springles to one shot a mangonel, and that's going to be close to impossible to do when you need a siege workshop, then one springled, then two, and then three. So it takes quite a bit of time. Lash should spot out this keep being built. He does. Only one villager on top of it for Don Artie sometime. But there come the reinforcing vills. 20 vills are coming up. And the main army for Don Artie is here and ready to defend this. This is another fight. Fight going down. Horsemen dive into the spearmen. They have no care in the world. No regards. They're just going to go in. Starting to surround. Men at arms pushing up as well. Only a few crossbows in the mix for Lash. Longbows just shooting everything in front of them. But the whole entire time, Don Artie's back is able to shoot down and has just way too much here. Lash does not have the military numbers that Don already has and is able to chase this down. Lancer's still healthy. Only a couple knights in the mix and the archers and crossbow for Don are moving up. Not only that, villagers finish the keep. Villagers moving up. Wololo trying to come down. Don, watch out! We saw Don get Wololo'd earlier against Estif, and we do not want to see him get Wololo'd again. Probably had haunting memories of that. Made sure to fall back. Made sure to not allow that. Third relic goes in the bank for Lash during this fight. 
Longbows, crossbows, trying to help, trying to help, trying to do damage, but the numbers for Don just look too healthy. They just look too much. Ram moving forward, more outposts moving around. The forward Barry's getting taken from Don. He said, all right, I'll take your food now. And yes, the farms are able to be behind the town center, but you can see there aren't villagers farming right now. There's no more military coming out. More of the outposts are going down, and not only the outposts, there's a trebuchet here, and that will start taking down more of the infantry structure there's nothing that lash can do to help with his production right now he's trying to produce everything he can but those are just regular horsemen they don't have any upgrades involved crossbows and archers still will be able to shatter those right now men at arms crossbows coming in reinforcements don non-stop production you see five men at arms three lancers three crossbows in the mix but over on lash's side he has a ton in play as well but just doesn't have the upgrades doesn't have the population anymore it's 69 and 13 compared to 92 and 47. Don starting to get that little outpost spam in all of the stealth forest all around and just going to constrict all of Lash's economy. So much for those three relics, so much for all of that investment into trying to get 300 extra gold per minute, which he was utilizing. It is gone. Not only that, the council hall is starting to go down, and that is a huge, huge production point for Lash right now. Villagers continuing to move around. Might just spot the chop through. Lancers and horsemen could just go right through the shop through and demolish all of those vills on the wood line. Springle moving up. Lash looks to be taking the fight, trying to take down the ram while Don's not paying attention and does, does exactly that. Springle gets one shot on the trebuchet, gets two shots on the trebuchet, has to move back for a second, but doesn't. Gets a third shot on the trebuchet, but the trebuchet starts to fall back. Other trebuchet still firing this whole time. Men at arms take down the Springle, crossbows, Archers in the back, Longbow's trying to be a defense, but there's not anything here for Lash, and Lash is struggling. Council Hall going down, and that is two less production buildings, technically. This is going to be a struggle. Don is going in hard. He is not going to allow Lash to breathe right now. A trebuchet comes out in the mix for Lash, but what defense does he have? What front line does he have for that trebuchet? Maybe he thinks the trebuchet being wood is a tanky enough front line, but that's not how this works, Lash. Farms being denied. Archers and crossbows on top of the farms while the double trebuchets are firing down upon still the council hall. Okay. Reinforcement, a good reinforcing mass is here. They're ready to come help, but still sitting and waiting. And now reinforcements moving forward. Lash does not have a military mass. Don already is at a healthy 160 population. Where Lash, he's less than half that right now. Trebuchets have transferred over to start taking down something actually useful after a dead council hall. It's gonna be the town center and Lash throws in the towel. Don. Huge game there. So that is one way to win with Abbasid against English. Just super, super technical. Didn't rush the second TC. He forced the military out with his horsemen and uh, archers and then transitioned to the second TC when Lash didn't have vision, when Lash wasn't ready. So great game by Don. That takes him to the next round to face Keo, and we will go ahead and check that one out as well. So if you're watching this on Twitch, thank y'all. If you're watching this on YouTube, throw the sub, comment, thumbs up, and go ahead and check out the next video from Don Artie that we're about to cover too.